This week on Into the Wild, we visit Heroes Comics in New Jersey. We visit a Toys R Us that is marked for death. Plus, again, we will find a Constable Zuvio in the wild. And, above all, a Walmart, where Bob must decide if Kong Skull Island is worth it or not. This week on AFJ's Into the Wild. Here we got Moment of Truth for the Kong. Starting route to Heroes Comics and Sports. Head north on Mount Holly Bypass. Well done, actually, Art. All right, so we are hitting a comic book shop and maybe a Walmart if we get time. Um, I know on my hit list, I'm looking for uh, DC Multiverse, uh, Superman and Aquaman Super Friends that are out. And I'm looking for the Dark Knight Returns Wonder Woman. Looking for the Batman versus Superman Wayne Manor. Uh, but I'm looking for it for under 15 bucks. They go for like, I, I've seen them anywhere from $25.99 to like $69.99. It oh, started out at $99.99. Yeah. Uh, dropped within the first three months down to this like 70 and then after they realized that the movie was going to be the movie that we got uh they were <laughs> down even below that so now they're clearancing out so if you get lucky you have a shot at about 15 bucks yeah i'm going after it uh because one i got a lot of batman figures my wife that's her favorite superhero so she has a lot of uh dc direct batman figures we have nothing to put them in so if we have like a wayne manor you know, we can kind of, you know, ex ex show them off, put them on display. Um, and there's not many toy set, uh, play sets anymore. So this is kind of a thing, and I, I don't think it matters if it's Justice League or Batman v Superman. You're getting Wayne Manor in a Batcave. So, I mean, you can put all your six-inch figures in this. It doesn't re matter really who it is. It's a pretty cool toy, like, and, and as a lot of the junkies know, I, I think we've been following it for well over a year of the price drop on this and how different it is from one Walmart in one state to one Walmart in the other. It's just, it's crazy how some will have them for 99, some will have them for 25. We got a guy the other day posted a picture, got it for 13. So they're out there. It's just a matter of finding the right Walmart on the right day. And I'm also looking for uh, Kong for uh, 10 bucks. We've seen him everywhere on the site for 10 bucks. Uh, not on the site, on the Facebook page. Here we got Moment of Truth for the Kong. Um, so I'm definitely looking for that, and I'm also looking for the uh, Black Panther uh, exclusive pop figure. Those just hit. But as far as the comic book store goes, I'm looking for the re-release of Old Man Hawkeye. Uh, the first one sold out, so hopefully the comic book store will either have the first print or they'll have a second print of that. And then uh, we're going for the new uh, free Black Panther issue today. That's another reason why we're going to the comic book store. Marvel's given away uh, kind of like a primer book, kind of brings you up to speed about uh, the Black Panther and some of his adventures collected in a free book. So, free comics, a free comic. Evan, anything for you? Yeah, uh, I'm looking for uh, Christopher Priest's run on uh, Black Panther. I'm hoping I can pick up volume one just so I can at least have that. Because I'm hoping to read that for the new coming up. And my personal favorite thing about Walmart is, I call it, um, it's like the island of misfit toys where they do their clearance rack where you still see things like uh, Avengers Age of Ultron figures or uh, Man of Steel figures. I've been to so many Walmarts and it's just amazing some of the old toys that are six, seven, eight years old that are still on their clearance shelves. Yeah, well, I think one of my favorites at Walmart and Target is when they clearance the item to like three cents below retail. Yeah. So it's like, oh, here's a Marvel Legend six inch, and it's 1997. Mm -hmm. um, or Target's uh, infamous for this because their legends sometimes run even above the twenty dollar price point. Uh, so they'll clearance it down to twenty dollars for a figure that I've seen clearanced out at other places for like sub ten. And they're, you know, it's it's a big deal when you get the uh, twenty the twenty dollar uh, clearance item. We had a couple uh, junkies, I think it was today, which is Wednesday, by the way, uh, that posted 
they got some uh, Black Series uh, at Target for five bucks because they mismatched the SKUs between what was on sale and what was just hitting the floor. And this is like the DJ wave of uh, Black Series figures. So they're getting the, the new fresh figures for discount prices. That's awesome when those mistakes happen. So hopefully. Yeah, that, that's one that we'd love to hear from you guys about because I've even, I've taken advantage of it myself when they put out the new DC Multiverse Wave uh, about six months ago. They repriced the wave prior to $5, but in essence, accidentally repriced everything to $5. So I know I went and grabbed a good, you know, 20 figures at the $5 price point. Uh, for my son, for friends, for you know, for everything like that, um, you know. But what do you guys think? Is that you consider that cheating the system? You think it's a win on the junkie side? You know, we'd like to hear. No, we know what we'll show them. Everyone's got their thing. Maybe it's a breakup, a death, an accident, whatever it is, you used to be one thing, now you're something else. We all have our own problems. Our own issues. Our own. Demons. Also, that uh, Nightwing looks like you're doing karaoke. Oh, yes, he does. That's Nightwing. That's the... He had the disco suit on before that, and then he switched into his new one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there she is. She was everywhere. Still everywhere. <laughs> you know what, though? You don't see these... You don't see these often, either. This is the uh, the Green Goblin, or like Ultimate Green Goblin. Yeah. And this is the movie Electro. 1998, Universal Monsters Karloff. It's a sideshow toy. Nice. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You guys ready? Our favorite. <laughs> What are the first appearance? Uh, first appearance, um, they are, there's I think maybe three or four series and they are the first appearance of each. So what they looked like. Right exactly, there. so the first time you saw them, I'm gonna buy this one. Uh, 
I'm going to buy both of these. Uh, just because I love uh, Jay Garrick Flash and that cloth. I mean, yeah, look at that nice. cape cloth that's with nice. actual like little ties on it. That's nice. Can you Ooh. Get it off that. Ooh. So this is actually a really funny one because um, this figure came out before the movie was released. Totally spoiled. And it spoiled <laughs> who the Phantasm was. Yeah. So this is, you know, pre-spoilers on the internet and everything like that. If you bought the toy, you knew when you went into the movie mm -hmm. and you weren't exactly too happy about it. Oh. Uh, I think I think something that we should check for. Um, I think we should check to see if there's the Deadpool, uh, the Venom Deadpool. So... Thankfully, GameStop has actually been filling a lot of the holes in the action figure market. And they have their own exclusives. I guarantee you we'll see a Deadpool Venom because they seem to have more than enough of them now. <laughs> As he walks over there. So we just left uh, Heroes. Heroes, uh, very, very cool shop. Uh, great collection of some older toys that you don't always see. Great prices, his whole back wall is 30% off. Um, and I mean, even his Legends, he was at 22 bucks, but he had them down 30%. Uh, and for a comic book place, I've seen most Legends at like 25 bucks. Mm -hmm. So I, I, you know, I thought the pricing was really good. Um, he didn't, oh, Evan, what do you think about the comic selection? Um, he didn't have a lot of, uh, the trade, like, volumes, but, like, for me, I like getting them in trades because I don't like having all of the issues. He had oh, almost smart. everything that I could think of when it was issues. It's a lot of work. But. To go back every week and buy another one. Yeah, no, it's, it's, not, it's not about going there, it's just, it's about, it's about the price. At least had, he had the trades that he did have on 20% off, which I thought was great because most, most comic book stores have them at full MSRP. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was nice. He had the uh, the new NECA Spider-Man. Uh, is it one eight twenty eight still, right? Yeah. yeah. And he had the uh, De uh, X Force Deadpool. Deadpool. Um, he had it at one twenty five, which that's pretty well priced considering the price that they pay to buy it from NECA. Um, but he had it marked down twenty percent. So you know, I mean, thinking that you could run around the ten different Toys R Uses and not get it. Um, this guy is right over in Burlington. Um, I, I'd say it's worth a stop over there for sure. So what's next? Where are we going now? We are going to Walmart now for the uh, elusive uh, $15 or less uh, Batcave. <laughs> uh, the $15 or less King Kong. Kong. As you can tell, we're very cheap when we buy our action figures. Well, I think it's not, I think some of those things aren't worth the $100, $30 well, price. You know what I mean? It's pretty clearly not worth the $100. Like price. when you look at it, like, well, I can make a car payment or I could buy this plastic bat cave. Well, yeah, the, the junkies are making it hard for you because it's hard to go and pay anything above when you know you've seen people pay exactly, $15 for, 13 bucks. for it. Um, but we're going to check here, uh, like we said earlier, I'm on the look for the new Super Friends DC Multiverse. We're going to check, you know, who knows, maybe they've got the new Dead uh, Deadpool Legends that everybody's going crazy for. And then after this, we are going to stop at one of the Toys R Us's that are unfortunately on the kill list. It is very sad in there. Their collector's corner pretty much makes me want to go in the corner and cry. Um, they have pops though, lots of pops. Right, so cool. a lot of people will be excited. Um, we'll see you inside. Seventy-six. No. It's only like twenty some off the uh, off the Are price. Here's your con. Now we got to find one of those price checky things.
Uh, Gear of War. Gears of War. War 4. No price on these bad boys. These are nice figures. They're normally about $19.99. Yeah. And, it, I mean, if you're a Gears of War fan, there's not a better figure that you can get. Who's making it? Uh, McFarlane makes these. Cool. So these are more of the McFarlane uh, building sets. So Five Nights at Freddy's. Hey. Yeah. What's his name, Mangle. Evan? Mangle. Mangle. Hey, we got Mangle. They got Mangle and Balloon Boy. Sister, sister yeah. location. Oh, yeah, they have uh, Fun Time Freddy. That's actually kind of cool again. They, they did a good job. Yeah, no, these are really cool. The Rick and Morty. Um, you'll actually see, uh, like, these are all, like, little in-jokes. We talked to the guys at the booth last year at Toy Fair. There's a beer can inside of the spaceship. Um, and, my favorite, cool. Ants in My Eyes. I've not actually seen any of these in store, and guess what we found here, guys? We found a figure missing the Build-A-Figure piece. And here we go. Here's where my money goes, guys. Pink Rangers. Is this Pink Ranger, green, red. This is, I believe, all three. That are out in the store right now. But isn't this the thing? What are you guys just telling me about? This is the thing where they just put the box around it, and it's the same thing. Oh yeah. yeah. We just did a review of all the smaller figures on Shout this. Out to Mark. Mark Was Wasserman did a review of all of these, but he didn't do the big one. I don't know if they didn't have it, but he's only 20, and this is Kong, made by the same company, Lenard. Voltron 84. These are very, very cool. Looks like they've got red, blue, green, yellow. Okay. Oh, here. This is the new version. This is, is this the new version? Yeah, this is the, this builds, they don't actually, yeah, this builds with this one. So this is the Netflix series Voltron. And then they have all of them but the black one, which is the classic black one to make. It's 17 bucks, I gotta tell you. That's a hell of a figure. Mighty Mugs. <laughs> so, so three heads. Bob, 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 go away. Bob, I'm okay now. Okay. Oh, yeah, Peter Rabbit figures. This is Freddy. Freddy. This is Evans, Five Nights at Freddy. Oh, God, that's loud. 578. Okay. Is that a good deal, Evan? Uh, everywhere else you see it, I think it's like 8, so... That's not bad. Yeah, I think Walgreens is it at 8. Alright, so here we got Moment of Truth. For the con. to challenge the worst villains on Earth are the most powerful heroes ever in the Battle of the Superpowers Collection. Can it be the Supermobile on the attack, the Lexor 7 armed with kryptonite? Will the Supermobile repel those deadly rays? You bet. Ready for battle. Activate Ram. New from Kenner's Superpowers Collection, vehicles and figures with power action, each sold separately. Flying lessons for Penguin, fish bait for Luther. Can the Supermobile defeat the Lexor 7? You decide. All right, so here we got Moment of Truth. For the Kong. I want it's, it for ten. Oh, you get? Are you? Are you really gonna? I want it for ten. Are you really gonna? I want over it for five dollars. I want it for ten. You might lose it for I'm five dollars. I want it for ten. Okay. So this is unfortunately one of the uh, marked for death Toys R Us's. Um, you know, so as we come in, sign of respect, head down. Those bargains. <laughs> Bring on those bargains. I partic particularly like Enchantress's eyes here. It's like she's been kicked in the head by a mule. <laughs> and uh, apparently, the quality control was really off that day. 
Oh, you could, you never know, it could be part of the design. Part of the design. To go along with Bob's $15 fine, here is the repop version. Um, it is the exact same one, but oh, they even did the Batman over there. Yeah, they just changed out the colors of the pieces. So you've got yellow instead of what was silver before. Um, this is Battleground, though, but it's still the Wayne Manor. It's still the same Wayne Manor. Uh, mm -hmm. It just had, like, I mean, this is the, the armory I think I was talking about. So I think all they did was actually change the colors, maybe some of the components. Mm -hmm. They've got four. Variant I've seen everywhere. Yeah, it's just the one that they have. They don't have the Parademon. I have not come across that yet. Attitude Us, that's the one. I have, I have, and I felt bad right. for not yeah, telling let's, MJ let's, I saw it. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> I sent him a picture still, of it like a couple off. hours after I'd already left. And in case anybody did not get their Wonder Woman multiverse figures, they're here. They're here, guys. They're waiting for they're, you. Everybody's, Please everybody's come pining down. over Chris Pines. Oh, yeah. Finding over time. Finding over time. Now this guy right here, still at 150. Yeah, that's gonna go over well. Some of the people that uh, some people on the site have posted that they saw it at Ross's for 50 bucks. I hit every Ross, and nobody had it. If you ever come anywhere that you see this style Power Ranger, you want to check for the Red Ranger. The Red Ranger is going for about 100 bucks. The Green Ranger and the White Ranger are a little bit above that. You can tell these are all the Power Rangers movie. Oh, yeah, the helmet's cool. <laughs> I think they have the sword, too, right? Yeah, it's right here. It's awesome. I do not like Power Rangers. I've never yeah, used this. But this is epic. I can't pay 150 bucks for that. I don't want to say that this is the reason why you're not going to see this Toys R Us anymore, um, but this is their collector's point. Or, I guess they're calling it a fan vault here. I thought they were collector's corner, but... Who wouldn't want to share in the Shannon Doherty Mall Rats action figure? Uh, this is a movie, um... Evan's never Evan. seen this movie, believe it or not. And for our horror fans, Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy's That's Revenge. This is the... Ooh! This is actually a really cool one. That's a nice figure. I mean, this is one of the uh, worst of the Nightmare movies, but... Yeah, this is the one with the very homophobic over overtones yes. that really is unsettling to people yeah. and even the cast admits to that which I, is very strange i dig the back of this though because the movie ends with uh, him driving off in the school bus so that's pretty cool i have this one and i love to like scare my mother-in-law with it but this one you just is... throw it at her no we just leave it places like you know like well, in her just... like uh in her shirt drawer, or we hang it in the shower. This, this is pre-implantation, cool. and this is post. Yeah. Stiff. Yeah. This one's cool. Like Trigon. Only available at Toys R Us. You know what they have here, though. Yeah, but not the exclusive. Yeah, I don't need the exclusive. I like them with the shovel. And the, he's the crow. Oh, yeah. No, the crow is the the crow is the selling point. Got this is all sister locations. This this one's not that Nightmare no, Foxy. That's Five Nights at Freddy's Four. Yeah, you got sister location, uh, Baby Funtime Foxy. Uh, There's no vinyl figures. For them all the free hugs. So I'll be I'll be coming back because these are uh, I love the loyal subjects. I love their figures. Um, they're the blind box ones. This box has been here since these were released. So this is over a year. Um, none of them have been opened. I keep coming back and checking. I hate to say it, but uh, these will get clearance down to about $5 a piece, if not less. So I'll be checking weekly until they actually make it on the clearance. Okay, so we're leaving. All right, so unfortunately I went up and asked if they had the new Deadpool wave that everybody's looking for. Um, since this is one of the marked Toys R Us's, they are getting no more inventory till the end. So that is I thought that's what you're 90 tell us. days of no inventory. So this place will just get more and more bare as we come back. Um, they did say that Cherry Hill, which is also marked, uh, will still possibly get new figures, but they weren't sure. It's sad. Create it. <laughs> Blockbuster Evan was a... Yeah. <laughs>
it's sad in there. There's no flow. It's it's just a dead store, and I mean the shelves aren't even like I don't say they're dirty. They're just not stock. Yeah, this looks great. This looks. Oh, great. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean I was here for for Black Friday, which actually uh, after dinner uh, on Thanksgiving I stopped mm -hmm. by. There was not many people here. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it, it's a good store because it was close. Uh, I think that this uh, Toys R Us unfortunately had to deal with the fact that there used to be the Burlington Mall over here, which is almost officially dead now, um, and that didn't help whatsoever. You know, it'll be interesting for the ones that the Toys R Uses that we hit in these last ninety days. Which ones are right next to Walmart Super Centers? Yeah. Because the one in Cherry Hill, which I drive by every day when I go home, is right next to a super center Walmart. Well, the question is, is if you can get the same figure at Walmart for less money, or the same money, but you're already there buying something else, right. why would you go to Toys R Us anymore? Well, I, I think part of it is Toys R Us doesn't really have the selection it should. They keep the same figures on the shelf forever. And don't get rid of them as, as you know, toy well, companies mean, put out new waves. you got to get rid of those old figures and put the new waves out. They're not doing that. Nobody's doing that anymore. What did they have? 30 Wonder Woman figures? Exactly. Which was a six-figure wave. Um, and it, Wonder Woman's almost what, a year old? Yeah, easy. Almost a year old. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, personally, I think if you're a Toys R Us that's near a Supercenter Walmart and Target, a Target within... You know, five minutes, unfortunately, I just don't know how you stay in business. And until Toys R Us figures out how to turn each of their brick and mortar stores into a fulfillment center, get a lot better about their inventory, uh, and get inventory to stores that actually need it and not carry the same stuff on their shelves that they've had for months and months and months, I just don't know how they survive in a world of Walmart's Targets and Amazon. Yeah. And, you know, unfortunately, we've lost KB, we've lost, you know, pretty much every other brick-and-mortar toy store alone because everybody else diversified in the other lines, and now you've got Toys R Us is really the last guys that are out there that have deals with Hasbro and Mattel that force them into buying a product that may not always sell. They can't sell it back at, at some rates that other stores can because they've got these negotiated deals. and. You know, I mean, I, I think it would be really sad if we're looking at, you know, five years from now, only having a handful of Toys R Us's or, you know, not being able to have that experience. You know, I mean, people like Evan, the millennials, don't really understand the whole, you know, uh, you know, giraffe birthday club and uh, what were they, Toys R Us bucks? What were they? Did they have Toys R Us bucks? Yeah, they had Jeffrey Dollars or whatever. No, don't even I, remember that. I, feel like that was a thing about yeah. Yeah, and you know, and, and there was something just, there, there's something so fun, and I do it all the time with my son. We go out, and we'll, just me and him, and we'll walk around Toys R Us for 30 minutes or an hour, and, and see what's there and available, and you know, not having that experience is going to definitely hurt, you know, the collecting marketplace. I mean, yeah, you're going to be able to get your stuff on Amazon and right. online. You don't get the hunt. You know, but, but and a lot of times you want to look at it. Like we looked at those um, Enchantress figures, and their eyes were all crooked. So would I pick up that one? No, I would sift through all of them to find one with decent eyes. I mean, we're looking at some of those Poe Demerons, and they look horrible. Like, am I going to order that on Amazon based on that get picture? That guy right. I'm not going to get the pic the one that's pictured. Like, that's not going to happen. So, I think that's with collectors. We like to look at the eyes of the figures to make sure that they're not they're not crazy or they're not Marty Feldman's. Well, you know? Look that up, Evan, because I know you know I know you don't know who Marty Feldman is. You know, and, so and you know, with Walmart... It's so disappointing because I, I feel like I know it. No, you don't. <laughs> what, is, uh, what is it? Uh, with, with Walmart oh, and with Target it. and with those stores, they don't have... To they don't collect, or I'm sorry, they don't have all of the lines that Toys R Us has. So when you lose Toys R Us, you're not going to be able to run into Playmobil Ghostbuster figures. No. Nope. And stuff that you didn't even know that you wanted, that you didn't even know what was out. Right. So, you know, Toys R Us is going to carry your, your big line stuff. 
but you're not, or I'm sorry, uh, Walmart, Walmart and Target, but you're not going to be able to go and buy NECA figures because NECA is... Uh, yeah, in, unless they're football figures, well, like yeah. McFarlane does the football lines. Mc, Those you can buy. McFarlane has the production, the scaled production that they can get in big box stores because they already are. But your smaller, collectible, collector-focused brands that are just starting to get into your Toys R Uses, um, they're going to have to go to like an online-only model and at shows and and your you know your local comic book shop. And unfortunately, those are dying as well. And you know the it's it's just it's a sad state for where you're at. And I'm, mm -hmm. you know, we're probably a little depressed as we left one of the Mark the Death. Toys R Us's, but you know, as a collector, a lot of the things that that I love and enjoy about the hunt um, are starting to go away. Yeah, the seeing the thing you didn't know existed, you're like, oh, look at that! I have to have that, and then yeah. I have to have every one of those that they made. <laughs> so seriously, where's Mark? I know, I know that name. Oh my god! No, no. <laughs> 